Welcome back everybody to the channel. It's me, Raul Alejandro Mendoza, Ordinary Chicano. Either way, how you say it, it's all good here. And we're back again to look at another film in my collection. As we look at a film that I recently added to my collection, it wasn't purchased during the Criterion Barnes & Noble sale, but it was gifted to me by a wonderful ex-professor of mine who I consider a great mentor and a great friend. That's why today I have the wonderful privilege of looking at Criterion Collection's release of M from Fritz Lang on Blu-ray. Of course, I hope that this video finds you all well, happy, healthy, and in good spirits. I hope you're watching some great movies. I hope that you're making your way through your physical media. I hope that you all are just doing amazing, like the amazing people that you all are. And of course, if you're new here and you want to go ahead and stick around because you love physical media, movies, and other stuff like that, then this is the channel for you. Hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you don't miss a single piece of content that drops on the channel. Leave a like on this video as well because that helps out a lot. And of course, if you want to lend an extra helping hand, I do have a Patreon set up over at patreon.com slash Chicano where you can get early access to videos just like the one you're watching right now, along with other goodies like video essays. But of course, it's not mandatory, but it is appreciated. If you want to go over there and lend that extra helping hand, I really do appreciate it. Either way, you watching this video is just enough for me. And of course, enough of that. Let's go ahead and get into this review of M from Fritz Lang. So let me go ahead and read the back here and then we'll go ahead and get into this review. A simple haunting phrase whistled off screen tells us that a young girl will be killed. Who is the murderer? Pleads a nearby placade as serial killer Hans Beckett, played by Peter Lohr, closes in on little Elise Beckman. In his harrowing masterwork, M. Fritz Lang merges trenchant social commentary with chilling suspense, creating a panorama of private madness and public hysteria that to this day remains the blueprint for the psychological thriller. Coming in at spine number 30 in the Criterion Collection, this Blu-ray special feature includes restored high-definition digital transfer with uncompressed monitor soundtrack, Audio commentary by German film scholars Anton Kais and Eric Rostlescher. The long lost English language version of M from a nitrate print preserved by the British Film Interest Institute. Conversation with Fritz Lang, a 50 minute film by William Friedkin. Claude Chabrol's M. Le Mondit, a short film inspired by M, plus a video interview with Chabrol about Lang's filmmaking techniques. Video interview with Harold Nebenzal, son of M producer Seymour Nebenzal. Classroom audio tapes of M editor Paul Falkenberg discussing the film and its history set to clips from the movie. Documentary on the physical history of M from production to distribution to digital restoration. Gallery of behind the scenes photographs and production sketches. Plus, a booklet featuring an essay by the film critic Stanley Kaufman, the script for a missing scene, three contempor contemporaneous newspaper articles, and a 1963 interview with Fritz Lang. This is the front of the artwork. This is the back of the packaging. This is the spine. Then you just open it up and you have your booklet. It's a nice hefty booklet too, so you know how much I love that, y'all. Here's the back. And, of course, you have um, all this wonderful stuff. Like, like this has chapters. Look at that. Chapters for the film. You know, different scenes. And then you have the uh, cast and crew. And then you have uh, this Mark of M by Stanley Kaufman essay. And then you have all those other things that I read about Fritz Lang on M, an interview. And then, of course, here at the end, you have production credits, transfer notes, acknowledgements, but all those wonderful things that are included in these nice booklets. Then you have the Blu ray disc right here. And then this is the inside of the insert of the film. So. That is it for the packaging. 
so now let's go ahead and get into this review. First and foremost, I would like to thank Mr. Keith R. Houck. He is the reason I have this film in my collection. He had two copies of this, and this was the original one that he bought, but he told me that there was a problem with the disc and that it was skipping a lot, and I went ahead and contacted Criterion, and he told me if he could find a fix, if, you, if I could find a fix to it, that I could keep this copy. I emailed Criterion, and it turns out that the original pressing of this film on Blu-ray had some problems with the Blu-ray disc, and there was a skipping uh, problem with it, so I ended up getting a replacement disc for this film, and lo and behold, this is how I have M in my Criterion collection now. So, I went ahead and decided I wanted to watch this film because it had been a really, it had, I had never seen this film before. Uh, I've taken his class before and he um, offers to show this film and I just never got the chance to watch it. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to take a little bit of a week off here so that way I can start this retrospective series next week and I'm going to watch this film and I'm going to go ahead and review it for y'all. And I popped it into the player last night and I have to say, I have been holding myself back not being able to watch this for so long. I really like this movie. I think that is incredibly crafted by Fritz Lang. I think that it incorporates a lot of really early German expressionist techniques and a lot of, you know, things that would be taken into what we know now as the film noir and neo-noir. And he constructs this interesting movie about not just murder, but hysteria. Public, uh, public opinion about law and all these different things that correlate into, you know, mob mentality. I really like this movie. I think that he did an incredible job with the cinematography. There is one scene where I'm still trying to wrap my head as to how he shot the film, how he shot that scene, how he was even able to, you know, insert a cut there because I swear I can't find the cut in there. And it's just incredibly crafted by Fritz Lang. My knowledge of German films are not the best. I haven't watched a lot of stuff from that from that country. I haven't watched anything from Fritz Lang other than this other than this film, but I have to say this was a great introduction into his filmography. I have long wanted to watch uh, Metropolis and other movies from him, but I have never gotten around to it and I just I really found myself gravitating to the narrative of M and especially those last 15 minutes are some of the best I've ever seen in the film before. As the crowd wants to imprison this man and kill him. And the defendant wants the law to do what the law needs to do with him. And put and get him some help. But also, you know, make sure that he's re rehabilitated. Yet, the crowd wants to enact state violence. And you have this incredible performance by Mr. Paul... Uh, Paul Peter Lore, as he really dives deep into the psyche of this killer and expresses why he does what he does. And it's just incredibly filmed, incredibly acted, and it's just an incredible movie. I loved every second of this movie. I was just so into it. And I just, man, I can't believe that this, that I have been putting this movie out for so long. I hope that this hits 4K because I think that this would benefit a lot from 4K. But Either way, I just, I fell in love with this movie and I fell in love with Fritz Lang's cinematic language. Now let's talk about the restorations. So I watched this on my Panasonic 4K player on my 4K TCL TV. And I've got to say, it is upscaled a bit. And I want to just go ahead and be completely honest here. I know this is an early release. This is a Blu-ray upgrade of a DVD that probably came out a long time ago when the first couple Criterion Collection films were coming out. And I have to say, I was really blown away by the picture quality presented on M. The contrast lends itself so well to this picture and the restoration, cleaning all of that up, is able to really heighten some stuff from this film that just left a huge mark on me and I was just gushing at the technical prowess of this film and just how beautifully restored it looks. It is really grainy though. And it's not overly grainy, but it is grainy, and that's okay because this film is from 1931. It needs to look like a film from 1931. And because of that, 
they keep that grain but they're still able to highlight some of those great levels in the black levels and the white and being able to bring some of those highlights out and be able to you know give you a really good restoration of this film I'm sure that before this was on Blu-ray, it didn't look as good as it does now. But they were able to bring out a really good picture quality out of it. And because of the resolution at 1080p and with an upscaling, I'm getting like around 2K on my screen. So it just looks really good. And I think that they did a really good job on it. And I'm just, I'm just amazed at what they were able to do with a film from 1931 that is pretty hard to, you know, bring to get these uh, nitrate films because they're very flammable and be able to restore them and bring out a really good look out of them and that's what they did with M. Same goes for the audio. I think that this audio coming out of my TV speaker sounds really good. There's nothing that I'm really going to complain about. Uh, I know that at times it does sound a little rough around the edges but this is a magnetic track from you know nitrate film. It's not going to sound amazing. So the more restorations this gets the more time that they're going to be able to give to go ahead and clean up that audio, clean up the video. But from what I can tell right now with my two ears, I think it sounds great. I don't think it's bad. There's no scratching. There's no hissing. There's no popping. There, everything's balanced with each other with the score and, and the dialogue and sound effects. Everything sounds balanced. The only problem, and this is a problem that I've had with a lot of films, um, and it's something that I want to go ahead and address. Um, I, we really like these distributors to finally allow accessibility within the subtitles for this film. They were part of the film, in, there were parts in this film where it was really hard for me to read the subtitles. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am visually impaired. It is hard for me to see sometimes and I rely heavily on subtitles when it comes to foreign language movies if I don't know the language. Of course, if I knew German, then this wouldn't be a problem. But if I could know every single language and I could and I could uh, consume every single movie, knowing every single language, I'd be putting up a thousand videos on this channel per month. Let's be honest. But those subtitles blend in really well with the background and it's hard to see them. I think if we start to implement a change where we can have maybe stroke added to these subtitles or changing the colors to yellow, or maybe something that pops out a little more, it'd be easier to digest these films and be able to make them more accessible to people, not just like me, but other people with disabilities who have a hard time being able to see these subtitles because they blend in with the background. Now, this Blu-ray is jam-packed with special features. I haven't watched any of these, but there is a lot here, so if special features is something that you want in your Blu-ray, then this is a one that you need to pick up. You are, you I you are. <laughs> Not only is this movie really good, it has a really good video transfer and has a really good audio transfer as well. And it has a lot of special features in here. So if you're wanting to pick up something during Criterion sale, this is a movie that you should pick up. M by Fritz Lang is really good and it's a really well restored film. And because of that, I'm giving it a high recommendation. I really like this movie and I just can't believe I hadn't checked it out until now. Keep up, up to date with me on all things social media. Make sure you follow me at The Nerdy Chicano on Instagram, Twitter, Letterboxd, Serialized, TikTok, and on Twitch. I'm on the same handle as all of those on all of those social sites. So let's go ahead and talk about some movies, y'all. Make sure you're keeping up to date with all the things on our podcast over at TheNerdCore.com, The Nerdcore on YouTube and on Twitch. Please check us out there. And of course, let me know in the comments, have you seen M? Do you like M? Do you like the films of Fritz Lang? What's the next film from Fritz Lang that I should go ahead and check out? I am really wanting to check out more from him. So maybe on the next day, I'm going to pick up another Blu-ray from him. So let me know, y'all, and I would really like to hear from y'all. But in the meantime, to my wonderful cinephiles and renowned scholars, celebrate the love of cinema today, tomorrow, and every day after. Catch you all on the next one, guys. Peace out.